President Trump's efforts to help our nation's veterans is extending to those who help them abroad. The group No One Left Behind helps interpreters settle in the U.S. after serving with American troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. One America's Neil W. McCabe has more. Jason Gorey is a combat veteran of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and a co-founder of No One Left Behind. He told One America News that President Donald Trump's support for the program that brings military interpreters safely to the United States is one of the big victories of Trump's first term. President Trump has been a strong supporter of America's troops uh, and I would also say uh, America's interpreters. Uh, he's actually invited uh, special immigrant visa holders, interpreters, to the White House. Gorey said the special immigrant visa is a program designed to facilitate the immigration of the men and women who served as interpreters with U.S. troops. From the beginning, the Trump administration has been a partner in this effort with regular meetings with White House staffers and a briefing with Vice President Mike Pence. The Army Reserve Intelligence Officer said his co-founder, Matthew Zeller, was motivated to start No One Left Behind when he learned that his own Terp needed help. Uh, his interpreter, Janice Shinwari, had directly saved Matt's life in combat. Uh, he killed two Taliban who were about to kill Matt. And for his heroics, he was being targeted by the Taliban. Uh, so we worked very hard for about three years to get him and his family over to America and through that process. That paperwork and processing, which they now call Operation Lost in Translation, as well as seeing what little help there was for Zeller's Terp, became the roadmap they used to set up No One Left Behind, he said. And many of the interpreters and soldiers stay in touch uh, via social media, uh, phone calls, um, and then the interpreters that were able to get to America, uh, they usually end up co-locating in the same cities where soldiers uh, who they served with. The program is about honoring those who served this country, he said. In combat, uh, the bond between the soldier and his interpreter, uh, it's like a brotherhood. Uh, the interpreters are basically fellow American veterans based on their service. Uh, they serve side by side, they eat the same meals. Um, honestly, the only difference is, as an American soldier, you'd rotate out of combat. Uh, while the interpreter would stay in combat, often for three, four, we have interpreters who were there for 11 years. In many ways, the effort to bring military interpreters to the United States is a race against time. One study showed that in Afghanistan, an interpreter who served with U.S. troops is killed every 36 hours. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.